this uh, creating a different colors we are using the NC skip code for this so let's jump to the code so here I'm using the IntelliJ for this so Java new and then uh, I'm creating uh, some packages so let's say uh, this is the uh, color uh, text color X color okay now inside the text color so let's go and create one class called chain color text console color text console color text now so as we see like here we have created one class so uh uh print streams class for that we are writing public static uh print stream uh oh it out equals to new print streams uh system dot out okay so now we are creating uh instant variables for uh the nc code so public static because we are running the main class so everything so i'm trying to do the static here so let's make it a final for this the string now the system strings and the first let's say the caller reset we will we will we'll be talking this all things so reset equals to okay uh this is a now a skip code we are using for the reset zero three three and then and uh zero m zero m so this is the uh, uh reset code um for the for, for the strings for resetting the codes to the default code so now let's do another one let's copy this all and then let's copy this all and let's do four different colors okay let me do like three different colors okay color uh let's say blue i just make it final so because these are not going to change uh, and it's good practice to do this all and when you consider some things with the uh, with the uh, constant then you when you make some things with the constant values variable so you are just putting the var variables names everything's in the capital letters so here now uh, these are the things that we need to change here so for the blue is a uh, 34 and for the green uh, it's a 32 so uh, we prepare some things instant variables now let's create uh, a main class and inside the main class let's uh, change this string so let's say caller in console okay. equals to uh, let's say this is uh changing this is this is so like we can put whatever the strings we want uh it's it's up to you so let's say it's like this is color change this is color change right now let's now uh print out that all so out dot print Ln, and then we will write it here. Let's see the color green first. Color green plus, which is like we are color in, and we will another print Ln. So let's say call color uh, blue. And then then the color in console. So color in console. 
and then uh, we will do again let's see uh you know like we're doing something else here foreign consoles and then oh God. Now we are doing color print Ellen. So here we are just writing the uh, color plus reset. Color, color reset. So we are resetting the colors now. So otherwise, like if you won't reset the colors, everything will be printed blue, blue, blue. What if you put in a uh, output on there? So let's see now how it works. So console in colors, and then we'll do like uh, some things uh, without using the you know like declaring any variables. So uh, let's print some sign paper, uh, a sign color, not paper. Sorry for that. Uh, okay, it's uh, zero. This is a skip codes we are doing. And then 36 uh, is a sign. Okay, 36M plus uh, color and console. Okay, now let's see by running these programs. Uh, we are using like a three different, uh, two different colors here and one different color over here. And uh, we are resetting. So we use the reset here. G. We are using reset here. So with the reset, it takes everything to the default color, which is the black. Now let's see how it looks like. Uh, run the programs. Here it goes. So the first color is a color. Color is this color is color change. So which is green. So this is a green and blue. So we are resetting the blue. So after this, it's changed to the black. Now another is like a sign. This will print the sign color. So, so if you, uh, hope you, I, hope you, if you like the videos, then please uh, subscribe.